everybody, what's going on? I am Lori, and I'd like to welcome you guys back to more Master Detective Archives Rain Code. In the previous episode, we were running around Kane Ward doing requests. We came across the uh, clock tower in Kane Ward, and our current objective is to ask around about the Nail Man, who is apparently, like, a murderer running rampant, like, around the town, I guess? So... That's what we got going on here. Um, I have a bunch of stuff, like, in the menus that we haven't, like, interacted with. So let's go in here and see what this is about. Spirited away. Oh, it's just saying I solved it. Okay, cool. Um, because when I clicked over on the gumshoe gabbit, I had actually had, like, a little uh, explanation again. Even though it already told us what it was, we could watch this memory with the detective, apparently, which I haven't done. So I guess let's... Let's go ahead and do that real quick so I don't forget. View this memory? Yeah, I guess so. Why not? We picked it up in the last, uh, in the episode before that, maybe? I don't remember. So, let's go ahead and watch it. See what it's like. See if it's worth me actually watching them all as I pick them up. I don't think I'm gonna be collecting all of them, but if I find them, I find them. For sure. <sighs> Sigh. Something wrong, Chief? What's with the big sigh? Well, it's nothing, really. Since you arrived and we began investigating Kanai Ward's ultimate secret, it seems we're all tense every day. I think it's just getting to me a bit. I can't seem to find a way to feel all nice and relaxed. I see. Damn it all. I long for the days when things were so uneventful. Before we came here, most of your work concerned infidelity and looking for lost pets, right? Yup. I used to just stare out the window and check whether the occasional client's spouse was cheating or not. I'd tail the target, and sure enough, they'd be cheating. Then the missus would end up crying when I reported back. It was the same old story every day. This may be rude of me, but that doesn't sound very fun. In fact, it sounds kind of boring. Sure is. But you know what they say. Every job is equally important. Just because a job may look more glorious, it doesn't mean it's better. Nothing wrong with plain old boring jobs. What's most important is whether you can be proud of what you do. Look at Buzzhead trying to act all cool. That's... he's right, though. Huh? What's wrong? You fell quiet out of nowhere. I'm impressed I zoned out. Let's go with I'm impressed. I just wasn't expecting that kind of stuff from you. I'm a bit moved. Not expecting? What's your image of me anyway? <laughs> Sorry. But really, I'm impressed. You're right. All jobs are equally important. I'll make sure I keep that in mind. Yeah, you do that. When you hang around master detectives a lot, you start to think you belong to a special class of people. It's true. I hang out with them so much that I was starting to think I was on their level. I better be more careful about this. I have a saying when it comes to my own work philosophy. Nothing beats a drink after a hard day's work. I do hear that a lot. Well, it's all bogus anyway. Any time is a good time for booze. Oh my gosh, you're such an alcoholic. A good drink is way better if you get to imbibe without having to work for it. What's wrong? You're quiet again. Are you amazed by my grown-up philosophy? No. I'm sorry, but... I need to reconsider how impressed I was just now. <laughs> what? I can't believe you'd say that so fast. That's hilarious. <laughs> Master, you and Yako seem to have grown closer. Okay. So I should have watched this when I first picked it up. So if we end up finding any more, I'm definitely going to try to watch them as I pick them up so I don't forget about them for sure. So, yeah, I just wanted to see, I wanted to see what that was about. That was actually a, a fun, cute little, cute little background, you know, uh, character background stuff. Yeah, so, that's, that's cute. 
Well, it's cute. It's like extra insight on, you know, your our relationship with these other detectives. So, yeah. I like that. I like that. I'm still not going to find them all, though. Okay. So, back to our objective. Ask around uh, about the nail man. There's somebody standing literally right here, so let's talk to him. Pardon me, but it seems like something happened at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh, yeah. I saw the peacekeepers take away the culprit. Huh? You saw who it was? They apprehended a man wandering around the clock tower. He had a lot of weapons on him. Among them was a hammer, so he's the culprit for sure. After all, they say the nail man always carries a hammer and nails wherever he goes. He was wandering around the clock tower while carrying a hammer. Hmm. That sure does sound suspicious. Interesting. All right. Let's see somebody else right here. I'm tired of walking. Well then, shall we take a break at the cafe? Come on. I'm tired of walking too. Let's have afternoon tea at the cafe. <sighs> but you're floating. Yeah, that is a very fair statement. Okay, there's something... No. Where am I going? Where am I going? I don't even know where I'm going. Well, that's a dead end. Oh, hey. Hey! Hey, I found a thing! Obtain a memory shard. It's silver! With Fabuki! Alright, let's go. Let's go watch it. Just like I said earlier. With Fabuki. We have been alone at the agency, Yuma. Hmm. Huh. Now that you mention it, I guess you're right. I know. How about I make you some coffee? Or would you prefer some tea instead? Uh... Which is which again? Oh my goodness. Huh? What do you mean by that? Um... How to put this? One is dark and the other a bit pale. Which is coffee and which is tea again? Are you being serious right now? What? The darker one is coffee. The paler one is coffee. That was a funny joke. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's just be honest with her. Anyway, the darker one is coffee. Oh, it is? Now that you mention it, that sounds right. However, this is quite troubling. There are far too many moments in my life where I cannot tell things apart. Just like with coffee and tea, I cannot tell the difference between an elevator and escalator. Oh my gosh. Or left and right. Or the day after tomorrow and the day before yesterday. I cannot differentiate many things. That sounds rough. Oh, there is more. Until recently, I thought paying reparations meant you were paying a repairman. That's a new one. She's such an airhead. <laughs> I'm surprised she's managed to survive for so long. Same, same. I wonder if she thinks that green means stop and red means go. Fubuki, have your misunderstandings ever gotten you into trouble? Trouble? I suppose when all is said and done, I have managed fairly well. Oh, there was one thing. Really? If you don't mind, can you tell me about it? Yes, of course. Back when I was around 10 years old, in the neighborhood where my mansion is located, a rumor was spreading about a high school student who could fly. I hoped it was true and wished to meet him, so I went for a visit. However, he could not in truth fly, but was rather considered something called a flight risk. Oh my goodness. At this point, it sounds like a comedy skit. Oh, well, it gets worse. He was more than a mere delinquent. He 
people considered him an extremist. Upon discovering I was the daughter of the Clockford family, he kidnapped me and barricaded us away. B barricaded Yes. He demanded the government revise the Constitution if they wished me to be returned safely. So, what happened after that? Hmm... It was quite a while back, so I cannot really remember. In the end, the laws were changed a bit, and I was released. The laws were... what? It makes sense a master detective, or rather a member of the Clockford family, would have such ridiculous stories. Being unable to tell coffee and tea apart should have been the least of my worries. <laughs> Master, you and Fubuki seem to have grown closer. She has an interesting past, that's for sure. Alrighty then. Well, okay, so we picked up that one, which is good. I'm sure I'm going to miss so many of these. I'm going to miss so many of them. And then I'm going to be upset when I do, for sure. I just, I just know it. I want to be upset. That's all right. I guess I can always look up a guide later to maybe find the rest of them if I do end up like missing them. Because <laughs> I'm not confident in my ability to thoroughly explore enough in order to uh, find them all for sure. For sure not gonna happen. I'm going the wrong way. But that's cool. I'm glad we came down this little passageway. It did seem suspicious. I don't know why I didn't come down here earlier. That is A-OK. -okay. All right, so let's talk to... Can't talk to you. You, umbrella lady. Hmm, which one do I choose? Uh, I wonder what she's thinking about. OK. All right. That was a waste of time. Let's go up here. Sure, why not? That's interesting. What's this? The way it's decorated makes it seem like some kind of lab or something. That's true. Yeah, it doesn't feel very organic, just completely artificial. Or like a tanning bed. It kind of does look like a tanning bed. I'm not sure I follow. Can I talk to you? This is a nice city. Yeah. Yeah, it's a, it's a nice city, all right. Okay, we don't want to go that way. Let's go back down here. Let us... Haven't I talked to you before? Yeah, I think I have talked to you before. Ginma District sure is beautiful, isn't it? The exact opposite of Kamasaki next door. Window shopping is fun and all, but make sure you stop by the cafe. I would also recommend the art gallery, but unfortunately it's closed right now. I see. I see, thank you. So? He's just like one of those villagers that stands by the interest and happily provides info. Okay, we have not spoken to him before. Oh, hello. Hello, you look important, but... I just need you to hang on a second. I feel like I talked to her before, too. Wow. No, I don't want to look I at the dinosaur. It. We've already had this dialogue. All right, let's just talk to the main guy, I guess. Hi, person. Hello. Excuse me. I heard that the criminal called the nail man was caught. Really? That's big news. I'd better tell everyone. So who is this nail man? What? You don't know? I'm sure you've at least heard about him. He's the mysterious nail man, Kronai Ward's most famous urban legend. Urban legend? Sorry, I haven't heard of it. Oh? You should count yourself lucky then. Have you ever felt the urge to kill someone while going through your day? The nail man can make that wish come true. Interesting. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or well, so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. horror stories but that's just an urban legend right it was until six months ago 
For the past six months, corpses kept turning up covered in nails. People were in an uproar, talking about how the nail man is real. But now, he's been caught. What kind of person would want to copy the nail man? He must have a screw loose or something. A killer from an urban legend. How Look, Master! All the hairs on my body are standing on end! I did not mean to click through that. I'm so sorry, guys. But you don't have any hair. <laughs> okay, so that was helpful. That was helpful. We have another marker down this way. So let's go down there towards that marker. The city is really pretty. They did a good job visually with the game, for sure. Okay, I... I don't... Time for a break. Time for a break. Can I interact with you, any of you? I feel like this would be a good spot to like hide one of those memory things. I can't go back there. It's this cafe menu. <laughs> a cafe, huh? I wonder if I often come to places like this before I lost my memory. Mm -hmm. Huh? Master? Hanging out in cafes? I don't see it. I mean, maybe. Or maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. Can I go back here? No, I cannot. All right. Who am I supposed to interact with? Who or what? Hello. Other side. Hello. Um, there seems to have been some sort of incident at the clock tower. Do you know anything about it? Oh my, really? Such troubled times we live in. It's that man again, right? I've heard there were numerous cases. You mean the nail man? That's the one! There was a commotion not too long ago. Where did it happen again? Hmm, the museum or the art gallery? In any case, I'm glad he's been caught. I'd heard there were no clues at crime scenes because they all occurred in locked rooms with no way in or out. Phew, I'm so relieved. By the way, who are you? You've got some nerve talking to me as if you know me. Um. Oh, sorry. She's rude. I guess that's all the info you can extract from these snooty people. Still, I think I get the gist of it. These nail man cases are based off an urban legend. They started six months ago. A similar case happened at the clock tower today, but a suspect was apprehended. That's about it. There's nothing else for me to know. Wait, what about those cases? They all happened in locked rooms, right? I haven't seen any locked room mysteries yet! Give it to me! I want it now! I, I doubt we can see the scene of the crime. Let's just head back. Come on, just a peek. Let's check out the clock tower one last time. Just one look, okay? You're the best detective! The president of our company? No, of our nation! <sighs> <laughs> Shinigami is still best character. I wanna have to get some artwork done for like Shinigami or something and like hang it up in my room. She's she's amazing. I freaking love her. Freaking love her. This is the currency used in Kanai Ward. A luxury card can be purchased for five million? Oh my goodness. Rumors about the secret club. I like reading the little hints and stuff in the loading screen if I'm able to. All right, so we're back at the clock tower. Let us see if we can get in. So going through the front's not an option. So what's back here? Anything back here? Hey, that's not where you should be going right now. She's angry. Look, I was trying to sneak around the back entrance, okay? There ain't no way they're gonna let me through the front. There's no way. There's no freaking way. It's not gonna happen. Hi. Hmm? Something's up. Yeah. 
Um. Excuse me. What the? What are we doing? Are you okay? Can you stand up? I mean, that is a child. Come on, let's go. Hey, wait! I'll arrest you for obstruction of justice. Uh, uh, what do I do? You jumped in here without a plan? We sure did. Hashtag logic. I couldn't help it. What were you thinking? You just doomed yourself. You're under arrest by the peacekeepers. If you resist, enforcement measures will be taken against you. Listen, you have no right to remain silent. You have no right to a lawyer. Wait, please, listen to me. You have no right to a lawyer, oh my gosh. Put both hands on your head and get down. Any other action will be seen as resistance. Viva la resistance. Hey, friend. I've been looking for you. A coin? Oh, you're going down. Yes! Oh, she is a badass! Halara! Hi, Halara. New favorite character. Please don't die. Th th thank you, Halara. A reckless sense of justice isn't even worth a single coin. This could have cost your life. Remember that. R right. Sorry. That's some impressive athleticism. I'm like you, Master. Um. Hey, are you okay? Please, my dad needs help. Please, get my dad back from them. Please. Huh? Get your dad back? What do you mean? My dad was arrested by peacekeepers for what happened at the clock tower. They say he's the culprit. Wait, that's your dad? But he was here to repair the clock tower. He has nothing to do with what happened. So, your dad is innocent, but he's being framed as the nail man? My dad would never murder anyone. He has no reason to. So please, please, get my dad back from them. We have to help the child. So you want us to prove your father's innocence? Is that an assignment? Assignment? Y yes I figured you could do it since you took them down so easily. How much do you have ready? Huh? Y you mean money? I don't work for cheap. Halara! What? Don't you have a heart? I will fulfill a job no matter what it takes. I have the mind and strength to make it possible. However, if you want my help, you will need to prove your resolve. But I don't have any money. All, all I can offer is this. My dad and I played catch together all the time. It's my most prized possession. Aww. Hmm. Uh, hey! Out of the question. What? Oh, Lara, wait! You're not going to accept his request? Why should I? The only way to decipher someone's mind is to see how many chips they put on the table. If they cannot offer a fitting amount of money to prove their resolve, to me, they might as well not even exist. Okay, she is very cold-hearted. I really liked her until these words came out of her mouth. Big talk for someone who's all about the money. Yeah. What kind of demon would try to take money from a little kid? Exactly. I'm a deaf god though, so I sure ain't one to talk. <laughs> oh gosh, she didn't got me, thanks. Thanks. Oh, did he not offer enough? The ball itself may not be worth much, but the sentimental value it represents is priceless. If you think so, then you should take on the job. 
Huh? Me? Or perhaps you're going to make the assignment on that boy's behalf. I don't work for cheap. Uh, how much do you charge? Hmm. Preliminary estimates market at around 5 million yen. Oh my goodness. Shin? Is that currency? How much is that? It's enough to purchase a luxury car. A luxury car? That much? By the way, even though I'm amazing, I can't create human money out of thin air. Hmm. I'll be at the cafe nearby. Come see me once you've made up your mind. You will need my help eventually. And when you do, call on a detective named Halara Nightmare. Huh. So, what'll you do, Master? I'm gonna go stick my foot up her butt because she's being not very nice. Well, I have to do this myself. What? You sure you can handle it? Though, I don't care as long as I can scope out locked room mysteries. Hey, leave your dad to me. He'll be fine. I hope. He probably will be. Definitely, yeah. Wait, are you confident or not? We are not confident at all. Thank you! Please save my dad! Looks like my master made up his mind. Now, let's take a peek at the crime scene. With the peacekeepers gone, now's our chance to strike. Hey, wait. Before that... Okay, so I guess let's interact with this tablet device. Wow, it's the Clock Tower murder report. This is a great find. Lots of good info here, huh? Just as I thought. The details of the case are on here. Okay, so Clock Tower murder case report. Crime scene, Clock Tower storage, third floor. Victim, female, age 20 to 30s, identity to be confirmed. Estimated time of death is unknown. Time of discovery, approximately 7 a.m. The body was found around 7 a.m. And it's a little past 8 a.m. right now. So it's only been an hour since the body was first found. No wonder things are so hectic. The body may even still be there. Another body. Anyway, Master, there's more to that report, right? Uh, first on scene, clergy member and several peacekeepers. There was a report of a suspicious person behind the church. The victim was discovered during the investigation. The murder is suspected of being related to the nail man killings. A suspicious person behind the church? But the area behind the church is... All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or well, so the legend goes. That's where the forest to summon the nail man is located. They pursued someone they thought was the nail man and found the body. The note was locked. I'm sorry, the door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. As there are no other entrances, it seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the nail man's modus operandi. There we go! Locked room mystery time! Yay! Mysterable! I don't know why you're so excited. Does the nail man turn his crime scenes into locked rooms like this every time? A phantom who vanishes like smoke in a room with no way in or out. Just the thought of it makes me drool. Shinigami is literally drooling. A uh, suspect. Apprehended a suspect. I'm sorry, a suspicious individual near the clock tower. I apologize, I can't read. Suspect was found with multiple hammers believed to have been used in the crime. Name. Uh, 
somebody colon I can't pronounce his first name age 48 occupation unknown the suspect claims he was repairing the clock no witnesses or alibi the peacekeepers current investigation suspects him to be the nail man communicate only the information found in this report to the media a report concerning the clock tower murder case okay the peacekeepers captured some dude and assumed he's the nail man. Yep. You gotta search the crime scene yourself to find the truth. Yeah, maybe you're right. You finally getting into it? Took you long enough to warm up. Now let's go. The scene of the crime is the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. Yeah, let's hurry. Before the peacekeepers wake up. You should go hide someplace safe. I'll be right back once I check inside. All right. Now off to the clock tower we go! Okay. Well, hang on, hang on. There's a thing back here. How do I get behind there? I want that. There's a door. Uh, the fence is completely rusted. There's a lock on it, and it doesn't seem like there's a way through. Say. Why not just go Grah! and kick it down? I definitely can't do that. I wish we could, because there's a thing back there. I want it. I want the shiny thing. Anything else I can interact with out here that would be helpful? Maybe I can go around the other side. Because I want that. I see it. I want it. I must have it. It's going to be mine. Oh, that's a light. I thought it was something I could interact with. Okay, I guess let's go inside. Anything else? Dragon Palace. Oh, I wanted to read that. I wanted to read about the Dragon Palace. Well, that's a clock tower. Okay. Let's look around. Oh, I can't run. We can only walk. Lane. Go, 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 go. Don't you rush me, Shinigami. I'm exploring. Do, 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 do. Up the yep, long yep. staircase. Use the stairs so you don't get fat. Too late. Already fat, but thank you. <laughs> you can do it, master. The stained glass is so pretty. We're really close to the room. It's up this way. Wait. No. Yes? Why? Okay, I see. I understand. I always get confused about the icons on the map. The little red one means it's up on the next floor. There's also a ladder, too. Should I take the ladder? Mess with the door instead. The crime happened in the storage room on the third floor of the clock tower. So it should be right behind the store. There may be a corpse still in there. You've already seen plenty of corpses on the Amaterasu Express. Now hurry it up! That doesn't mean I want to see any more. Hmm. I think that's just part of our life now. To be honest, until I opened that door, none of it felt very real to me. I'd been treating the case as if it was something that happened to someone else long ago. But the moment I opened the door, all of my delusions vanished in an instant. What is this? Is that a real corpse? It's not some mannequin, is it? This blood is real? How? Why? Jeez, it's just some freakish gruesome murder scene. Get it together. But her blood's pink. As your mentor, let me just say that you'll come across this stuff all the time as a detective. So don't be scared. Investigate. Uh, hurry, before the peacekeepers come back. Shinigami, you don't feel anything after seeing this body? Uh, 
You're asking me how I feel about death? Well, let me tell you, this is totally ordinary. This ordinary? It's absolutely abnormal. It's normal for it to be abnormal. You're dealing with a murder case in a city like this. You can either accept it or go insane. Blood is just a liquid, a body is just an object. Got it? Now take a look around before someone gets in your way. Chop, chop. Her blood is hot pink. That's concerning. <sighs> Fine. You're right. I should hurry before the peacekeepers return. Yep. Now let's start the investigation. Okay, then. Oh, also, any clues you find during your search will be recorded by yours truly. Thank you, Shinigami. This whole room is freaking creepy. It will all materialize once you get to the mystery labyrinth later. I don't want to go back there anymore. Someone will die once the mystery is solved. <laughs> you are so naive. Having sympathy for the criminal you're catching. What place is suspicious? An investigation. Inspect an investigation marker to gather information to solve the case. New solution keys can be acquired by advancing the investigation. Good to know. Okay, so this whole room is freaking weird. Look at all the dolls nailed to the... To everything. And then, like, the body has, like, so many nails. And then her blood is pink? I don't even know. I, I don't see, even know. I see. There's a weapon box. What's up? Why are you staring at a wooden box? You know. I thought there might be a clue related to the case. It's covered in dust and there's no evidence. It was moved. It's probably not relevant, right? Right. Let's look somewhere else. So weird. I hate dolls. I absolutely cannot stand dolls. This part seems important. So this is the only window. They've installed shutters instead of glass. The shutters look new despite the building's old age. Must have been added later on. The window's big enough for someone to fit through. Note, the door was locked from the inside at the scene of the crime. The only window was shuttered and also locked from the inside. As there are no other entrances, it seems to be a completely locked room. This matches the nail man's modus. According to the Peacekeeper report, the shutters were already closed at the time of discovery. So they've been left alone like this. Well, hey, how about you try opening them? <sighs> it won't open. It's locked. Were the shutters locked when the body was discovered? How do we open them? Maybe there's a secret password or something. No, I don't think it's a password. Hey, there's a latch on the left side. I think I can move it. All right, it opened. The latch was pretty light. It can be easily adjusted. It's rather high up. It's above the third floor on most buildings. It's impossible to jump off from here. Even if you tried climbing down, there's nothing to hold on to out there. You can see the big clock above, but there's nothing really suspicious here. Hmm, it'd be difficult for the culprit to get in and out from here. Hmm, okay. Hmm? What's that sound? Did it lock back oh, when you- It's locked again. Hmm. So it relocks itself when it closes. Master, why are you still playing with the shutters? You want to be friends with them? No, that's not it. Now it won't go down. I get it. This shutter stops once it goes all the way up. But when set halfway, it's designed to fall down with its own weight. And if it goes all the way down, it automatically locks. I don't get it, but you're really fixated on these shutters. I'll make them a solution key for you, just in case you open a shutter shop one of these days. 
New key. The shutter stops when they raise completely. They lock automatically when they're completely lowered. So that's interesting. Mm -hmm. There's something under the window. What's that? Did you find something interesting? Yeah, two creepy dolls. What is it? Under the window. The bottom of the window is wet. Yeah, it is. Maybe some rain got in when you opened the window earlier. No, the parts starting to dry are leaving stains. This didn't get wet just now. Then maybe it's the tears from the nailed dolls. <laughs> no more horror stuff! More dolls? Here too? These two are lined up and nailed together. Huh? What's this? A yellow thread is attached to the nail in the doll. On a closer look, it seems the thread left marks on the nail. What could it mean? Hmm... This is suspicious. You should remember this. Okay, there are scuff marks on the nails driven into the dolls beneath the window. Alright, what else we got? I'm saving the body for last because, you know, that's just how I am. That's just how I am. Doll on the wall. There are dolls nailed all over the walls and floor. Yes, there are. What a ghastly sight. All the dolls here look antique. They're looking at me as if they're full of hate. So, not only do I dislike dolls, the antique dolls are the absolute worst. It would have taken a ton of time to do all this by hand. Why would the culprit go to the trouble to do this? Maybe it's to link it back to the urban legend about the nail man. All you need to do is write down the name of someone you wish dead. Someone you hate so much you could kill them. Then make a doll resembling that person, nail the name tag to it, and leave it at the forest behind the church. This summons the nail man, who will kill that person for you. Or so the legend goes. Whoever is killed by the nail man is pinned by countless nails. But why would the culprit go through so much trouble to imitate an urban legend? Or maybe it's the real nail man. <laughs> now I'm scared. I told you I'm not good with occult and horror stuff. Oh my goodness, Sheena got me. <laughs> Stop freaking out. Seriously? Uh. What the heck? What the heck? Like, seriously. Like, absolutely. The door? I can examine the door. This is the only door in the room. The lock is broken. They say the door was locked from the inside when the body was discovered. That must mean the peacekeepers broke the lock to get inside. So the inner lock is the type where you turn a latch. I don't see any evidence of it being tampered with. There's a keyhole on the outside of the door, but it's filled up and rusted. This didn't happen recently. It may have been like this way before the incident. Hey, why is the keyhole plugged? They might have figured it was unnecessary. The inner lock is probably left over from when the room needed both locks. Either way, it doesn't seem like we can open it with a duplicate key or anything. There's no gap when the door is closed. It'd be hard to tamper with it. The only way to unlock this door is to turn the latch from inside. The door in the clock tower was locked. Yes, yes it was. All right, let us go ahead and interact with the body, I guess. I think I got everything else in the room. Yep. I guess I'll have to search the body, huh? The moment we've all been waiting for. You're lucky you got here before they took it away, aren't ya? I can't stomach calling myself lucky when I think about the victim. This is definitely a real corpse and not a doll. I don't know who this woman is. The peacekeeper report didn't include any details. But no matter who she is, she didn't deserve this. Cut the chatter, master. Hurry, hurry. This is terrible. The body is covered in nails, pinning her to the floor. What's this? There's a mark on the neck. It looks like a rope burn. The vertical scratch marks were made by the victim as she struggled. 
A victim usually ends up with marks like this when they thrash around while getting strangled by a rope. That's fairly typical when it comes to strangulation victims. Hmm. Seen it a bunch of times. So she was killed by strangulation? The Peacekeeper report didn't say anything about the cause of death. Hmm, I wonder why. It should have been easy to figure out. They didn't investigate at all! They got the chance to see a corpse up close, and they blew it! In any case, finding out the cause of death is huge. Alright, so the victim's cause of death was likely strangulation, but the Peacekeeper's report did not mention anything about it. It's because they suck at their job. Or they're trying to cover it up. Alright, guys. Enough. Maybe that's all the investigating I can do? And that's a wrap! End investigation! Okay, an investigation can be ended once you're finished examining everything. Feel free to stop whenever. In investigation. Okay, guys. Unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. If you guys would like to support me, if you guys would like to see more of Master Detective Archives Rain Code, please leave a like and a comment down in the section below. I would really, really appreciate it. In the next episode, we're going to end the investigation and see where all this shenanigans takes us next. I imagine probably the next mystery labyrinth, if I had to guess. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you all soon. Bye!